So the Modern Warfare 2 campaign is here and it's actually so good. But you are here for the best settings for it. Now, especially on PC, there are many issues with the game. Not everyone has these issues, but I'm having it personally and a lot of people are having it too. Some of these include bad FPS, stuttering, resetting of settings when reloading the game and like so much annoying stuff. So I'm gonna be telling you guys the best settings to improve your gameplay as much as you can. So please be sure to leave a like if it helps you out, subscribe and let's get into it. Okay, so before we get into the settings, here are some things that you might wanna change because this helped me a lot in my performance. You may uh, go to your graphic settings and see hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Make sure this is on. I normally had it off because I felt like for Warzone, it was not that good for me personally. But for Modern Warfare 2, it's amazing. And I would also recommend going here, clicking browse and finding Call of Duty Launcher. It should be in the Call of Duty folder, Call of Duty Launcher.exe. Find that and put it on the high performance list so that it performs better for you. I would also put, uh, if you go to retail, COD, literally COD, also put that one on. And click options on that, high performance, and save that. So have these two, both on high performance. So now let's get into the best graphic settings that I believe are good for you if you are playing Modern Warfare 2 and your PC is having stuttering problems like I have. So, full screen exclusive by far, don't use anything else, because this will give you the best, like, the best quality, the best frame rate, everything. Full screen exclusive leave these things default make sure the refresh rate is the highest dynamic resolution off vsync gameplay off vsync uh, all vsync off and over here i just left most of the stuff default so i noticed that having focus mode on actually improved my fps so i'd recommend keeping this on now go to quality and you i keep this custom make sure it's custom and then render resolution to 100 right you don't want the game looking ugly obviously right so 100 fidelity fxcas now if you're having bad fps with fidelity fxcas i try some other ones this one for me fidelity looks the best and the fps is not super bad so i use it and the strength is at 100 anti-aliasing i use sma a t2x because the filmic one is a lot more it takes a lot more from you so sma x uh Anti-aliasing quality, I keep this normal. And video memory skill, 90. Because you want it to use the most VRAM. Like, if you have this lower, you're going to get more stuttering. So you want to have this the max. Texture resolution, normal. Just because if you have a better PC, obviously you could go higher. But for me, I'll, cap. I, I'll keep it normal. Texture filter, anisotropic or whatever. I keep this high just to make the game look a little nicer. Nearby level of detail, I also keep this high for the game looking nicer. And distant level of detail, I would actually recommend this low. But I'm gonna leave it on high for now, but I would recommend low. Clutter draw distance. This I would keep short because it will help it will help your FPS a lot. And particle quality to high because this actually helps your FPS. Having it high is actually better for your FPS, supposedly. That's how it was in Warzone. Particle quality level I have that high as well. Bullet impacts and sprays, this one doesn't matter, your choice. Shader quality, I keep this low for the better FPS. Tessellation near. Terrain memory max, so this is how much memory size it uses for it. So the more memory it uses, the less it hurts your PC for the stuttering. So it's actually better. Streaming quality normal. Volumetric quality. This is just a little better lighting and stuff. I just have this at high. I don't think it makes too big of a difference, this one. And same with deferred uh, physics quality. I just have this at high, so I'm water call sticks on. Shadow map resolution normal. This one does not make too big of a difference either, but you can try ultra if you want or higher. But I would keep this normal. Screen space shadows high. Spot shadow shadow quality high. And now make sure cache. These two cache ones are on. Make sure they're on because it will help your FPS and spot cache on high. Particle lighting normal. This is the best one you can have. Normal. Ambient occlusion. I would turn this off. Make sure this one's off because it actually makes your game look a little weirder in my opinion. Screen space reflections, I would also keep this one off. Uh, weather grid volumes, this one it doesn't really matter, I just have it all on. Nvidia reflex low latency, put this on on plus boost and leave all these ones off at zero. And yeah, those are the best settings. So thank you for watching the video. I hope it helped you out a lot. These settings help me a lot for myself personally. It helped my game run a lot smoother. But Call of Duty still needs to fix these problems, bro. Like, some people have them, some people don't, bro. Just fix them for everyone, please. And yeah, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. You got a problem, Bendejo? Gaz, stand down. Don't get compromised. <sighs>